Welcome back to Razmafsar TV. As we know, uh, many Arab countries and uh, specifically Yemen and Oman are famed for making Janabiya daggers or Jambia daggers or Hanjar daggers, also Saudi Arabia to some extent. What you see here is a Janabiya or Jambia dagger from Yemen. I have always been interested in Yemeni history and specifically of the type of daggers they make. This is one of them. It has a heavy silver scabbard and please note, scabbard alone has more than 500 grams of top quality silver fully gray with granulation in it. It has geometric design and to some extent as you can see here, some of them show somehow floral design, mostly in geometric design. This type of scabbard and similar free, free gray work, as you see the handle has the same pattern as the, as the scabbard of, uh, of free gray work. These were mostly made, um, I mean, this free gray work in Yemen. Some of them were made by Jewish goldsmiths in the past who were f renowned for uh, making uh, high quality fittings for the local Janabias or Jambias in Sana. The blade is of the classical curved blade. It is double edged. It is a good blade with a central rib or med rib. It is a really good blade and as far as the length of the blade is concerned it is um, 8 inches long and the width of the blade at the fourth it is 2.5 inches wide. As far as the dimensions of the blade um, in centimeters are concerned, the blade is 20.32 centimeters. So it's quite a strong blade, long blade, and the width of the blade at the fourth is 6.35 centimeters. It's a wide blade. See it has a beautiful handle grip covered in silver filigree. gray. And as I mentioned it earlier, the grip and the scabbard are of similar silver filigree gray work with granulation pattern. Only on top you see one of these beads or granulation pattern is missing, not a major thing. The rest of it is intact. It's an old Janabia. And um, the back of the scabbard is covered with leather, most possibly of a camel leather. The scabbard has an inscription in Arabic language and the engraving reads Amale Soleimane Rafe or Amale Soleimane Rafe. Soleimane Rafe is the maker and uh, possibly of uh, this dagger, at least the handle and the scabbard. And it is, you see that? Look at the blade. It's a really strong blade, that's what I like. And again, the scabbard. All of it is just, you know, work of art. You see here, even the leather has geometric design. You see that? It shows geometric design, which was really worked on it. Every part is, of this dagger is a work of art, as you can just see here. And we look at the whole uh, dagger again. So camera gets uh, closer so you can take a look at it please look at the design it's very intricate it's very detailed that's what I'm really always fascinated by Arab silver fully gray work really great job they do in different Arab countries specifically in Yemen if you go there they're still capable of making high quality Janabias with high quality fittings I mean, they have different um, levels of Janabia they're still, they still make there. Take a look again at the back of the scabbard. As I mentioned it before, 
on the back of the handle or more specifically on the pommel Amal Soleiman and Rafi, the work of Soleiman and Rafi Maker is written, please take a look at this Here again, take a look at the blade. As I said, the mid rib uh, is there to strengthen the blade. It's a very good dagger, really. It's a very good one. It's really good quality. Again, you can take a look at silver from Fede Gray and you see how these cords of leather cords uh, attach the back of the leather which is on the back of the scabbard to the front. The scabbard, as you can see, is made of two parts which dovetail to each other. It has original patina. I mean, the scabbard has not been cleaned. And this is where the blade goes in, you see. top of the scabbard as well, the tip on it, again with granulation and silver, silver filigree work. Again here you can take a look at the dagger and the beauty of this Yemenite dagger, possible from Sana. Please uh, subscribe to our channel and ask any questions you might have and thank you very much.